Greetings again. I really love this question and, and how it's worded because so often we are so focused on preparing our students for adulthood or preparing our students for the further grades, but never does anyone ask how we can help the older students and incorporating our ideas into their classroom. So I have a few notes here about what I believe we can do to pull up, as you said, uh, for our different activities. And I think the first thing is still being able to relate to the children and, and choosing repertoire that relates to them. This was highlighted again in that table uh, provided in module five in the lecture about how the text should be relatable to children because it'll really help their understanding of, of the song. And in middle school choirs and high school choirs, some teachers are really focused on choosing things that will of course challenge them, but are almost the, the, the basics. Or I, I remember in my high school choir, there was no song that I could relate to or sing along with on the radio. And, and I understand that repertoire uh, selection is a whole topic of its own. And I understand and I respect the idea of the the classics and you know showing your students the basics like for example I'm an instrumentalist so showing them the whole suites as a military member those are pretty significant pieces in our band and throughout all wind ensembles throughout America and the world so I understand that introducing the basics is important however I do believe that we should also make a good balance between that and choosing songs that are uh, relatable to the children in their current day and age. And again, uh, another another idea is the idea of play. We see so often in elementary classrooms, maybe spanning up to second grade, third grade, how children are allowed to play and they're allowed to play games and there's learning activities and these learning activities have games. Even in my mom, she teaches a fourth grade class and she has games for her math classes and the games really do help the students learn. However, once we approach the sixth, seventh, eighth grade, even up to high school, play is just something that goes away. And in the lecture, in the, in the TED talk, he really talks about how important it is for development and for emotional growth and physical growth and everything, how important play is and why should it stop at age 10, age 9, um, in the class that I student taught at, um, as many of you maybe had read, I had repeated this concept a lot, how we used to free dance before and after the classes, and I taught from pre-K through 6th, and the 6th graders had more fun with it sometimes than the 2nd graders did, and just allowing the 6th graders, these children approaching puberty, approaching you know, confidence issues and body changes and all these things just to allow themselves to express themselves through movement and, and in a judge-free zone really allow for their growth and their confidence, not only in music, but in their education altogether. So I, I believe that once people get older or students get older, teachers are really focused on competitions and awards, and marching band this and band of the year that, and... As, as much as I respect those things and how uh, it boosts the morale of the students and it boosts the school's reputation, I understand that much. Sometimes it's necessary. But I believe, again, there can be a balance with these types of things and, and allowing play is, is one of them. And along with play is the same idea of movement. Just allowing students to move once in a while as many of us can relate to in long 90 minute college lectures, all you want to do is get up, run around the room and sit back down in your seats. And if this is 18, 19, 20, 22 year olds wanting to do this, then what is running through the 13 year old mind's head at that current moment? So I really believe that a lot of music classes, you know, with the elementary classes, we learn all this dance and these hand movements to songs but once we start getting older 
the movement goes away and the strict high school band class you're going to sit in your seat you're not going to talk you're not you know like a professional orchestra rehearsal um, I believe it's really constricting the children and it makes class less enjoyable which then you know retention is an issue so again in my classroom I'm gonna go back to those sixth graders who were the greatest group of students ever they were wonderful children um, we learned we learned a few dances um, one was a Swedish dance and one was an Arabic dance and the students really seemed to have a really good time with it and they remembered the material really well and they remembered the history that went along with the dance because they remembered the dance because they enjoyed the dance so much and this is 13 year olds so I guess why can't it be the same from middle school from elementary school to middle school they're still children children need to dance children need to move and I believe that's a good way that we can pull up the system bye thank you